All right, now we're good. So, like I said, Old Ghost, Dark, and Lowry on Badlands. Be interesting to see what they choose this time around. Where are we? All right, good. We'll go starting the southwest side of the map, going for jump bots. Lowry in the northeast side of the map hasn't chosen what they're going for yet. No clue what they're doing. But they're on the northeast side of the map, so that's something, I guess. I'm not really sure what to do with this. Over here? There we go, that's more centered. I'm trying to figure out where the center is in this one. I guess it's here. No, it's a bit further up. A bit further along. There we go. No, a little bit back. There we go. Perfect, I think. The old Ghost Doctor going for, like I said, jump bots. Lowry starting up. So we have final match starting. It will be jump, jump bot mirror. Wow, okay. So old Ghost Doctor going for jump bots. Lowry going for jump bots. What are they going to build? This is really important. Both of them going for immediate pyro. Pyro, same time. Going for metal at the same time. Going for pretty much an almost identical start. Although old Ghost Doctor, no old Ghost Doctor, are they rushing a bit more? Hmm. Oh yeah, I hope you. I'm glad you like the numbers in the next spots. This is actually Skazi did some modifications, like basically added a little metal bar on top, so it's clear that it is in fact metal, and also a little plus there, which I think is just it's nice. It makes it a bit clearer that it is part of income. You can't tell on the player list, but on the actual economy panel, it's much clearer that plus corresponds to plus. And like, this is income. This this contributes income. I don't know. I just think it's, it's a small clarity thing, but I like it. Anyway, Lowry is going for a couple sol like two metal, two solar, and old Ghost Doctor not going for metals immediately. Going actually the long way, so Lowry's going to have a metal advantage early on. I mean, it'll come down to harassment, but at the beginning, just in terms of harassment taken out of account. Lowry's ahead. Lowry has just set up their constructions a little bit more reliably. Although, no, Old Ghost Doctor is going the short way. Never mind. And Lowry has, is just getting their Freaker up now. Old Ghost Doctor going for puppies instead. So Old Ghost Doctor looks like they're trying to counter the Pyros with puppies. They don't actually know about that, but still. Good idea to do. Pyros take two puppies to kill, but hey, that's... Oh, one puppy's going to kill right away. Ooh. Py puppy needs to get in range. He needs to be really careful about how it approaches that Pyro. Doesn't want to die. While at the same time, Pyro coming in and Old Ghost Doctor jumping it in, making a big mistake. This might not cost the Pyro's life, but it is a big mistake, and it will cost the Pyro's life. Yeah, it's, that's death. Does manage to kill a Metal Extractor, though. While the Pyro for Lowry gets away unharmed. It looks like it didn't even meet up with the puppies. And Old Ghost Doctor not building anything. In fact, probably should be building some stuff. I've mentioned before, a good idea early game is to put your factory on low priority. If you, which is exactly what Lowry is doing. Put your factory on low priority, and then you can build up your base and do whatever, and your factory continues to build whenever it gets resources to do so, rather than having to watch it yourself and do it manually. Much more reliable that way. And Old Ghost Doctor really benefit from doing that too, because Old Ghost Doctor right now has very few units coming in, and the puppy's trying to get in a position to flank out that pyro, and actually they kind of can. The pyro is getting itself cornered, but it looks like the commander's the only one even making any attempts to kill it, and it... Will it kill it? No, it won't even kill it. The Pyro managed to jump away in time, and that is... That's the Pyro gone. Though one puppy is trying to deal with it, will it be able to do so? And no, it won't. The puppy is scared away by the fire. And Lowry's base is completely unharmed. Old Ghost Stalker's base was pretty heavily damaged. And Old Ghost Stalker has very little metal compared to Lowry. And like I said, isn't building anything. Actually, starting to excess metal. Like, Old Ghost Stalker needs to start building stuff. Not just buildings, building units. Get back an army, because right now it's it's kind of done. Like Lowry basically has a very early lead. Not quite the game, but a very early lead. Well, Old Ghost Stalker, on the other hand, now getting their army back up. Still on normal priority. It's just at this stage in the game, maybe not the best idea. Not a terrible idea, not the best idea. And the puppies, three puppies are in. So Old Ghost Stalker getting... Where are the two puppies? Oh, one of the puppies went up scouting. Good plan. Where's the other puppy, though? The other puppy is over here. The other two are over in the base. One went off scouting, and... Oh, that's because that's Lowry's. That's not scouting at all. That is belonging to Lowry. Because, of course, I'm only sele I'm selecting by type, not by type and person. So Lowry 
continue to expand very effectively. Well, Old Ghost Stalker, just inside their starting area, like this starting box here behind this cliff, while Lowry is moving into the center very strongly. As Pyro's everywhere, has Pyro over to the northwest to keep that secured, has a Freaker going over to the northwest as well to take that in the first place, and southeast? Doesn't really matter. Lowry's not focused on that right now. I mean, Lowry's going to send some stuff over there too. And as Pyro does block Old Ghost Stalker's... Old Ghost Stalker trying to get in a position on Lowry's Pyros. Lowry's Pyros, however, get rid of one of Old Ghost Stalker's melee extractors at the cost of their life, or one of their lives. The other Pyro gets away unharmed. And Old Ghost Stalker down another metal extractor. Up some reclaim, though. But yeah, Lowry at this point, they have the Northwest. They have the Southeast. The center is moderately strong, although it looks like... I think Old Ghost Stalker might have a chance of dealing with this. However, this Pyro here is going to go down. Ah, that would have to be the front, too. That that was a bit of a missed micro there. Especially since that could have been healed up in the meantime. Had that been healed up in the meantime, it would still be alive right now. And it'd probably be able to deal enough damage to get rid of that puppy, rather than being blown to tiny pieces, as it was there. It's blown into crumbs. And the puppy does manage to get in, though. It managed to get through to hit Lowry's, but... Doesn't kill it. Yeah, I think Old Ghost Stalker is going to be heavily, heavily damaged from this. I don't see any, I don't see any way out of this. I gotta be honest. I, I, it's, I know it's dark, it's grim, but nothing is being built. Like, there's no units being built. The freakers aren't being used to build this. Like, build on low priority. Then at least you get some units up. This pyro eventually gets killed by unit by resources being pushed into the factory. And Old Ghost Stalker now building a few powers of their own, but they have lost a lot of their economy in the meantime. They're surviving by reclaim, they are expanding a bit, but even with that, the Pyros are moving in. They're going to probably take out the Commander next. The Unmorphed Commander too, because there's no money to do so. Lowry, on the other hand, has morphed it. Their... Have they morphed their Commander? Yes, they have. Lowry Particle Beam. Actually, we saw that earlier, I believe. That doesn't matter. Old Ghost Stalker trying to keep their Commander alive. Desperately trying to keep their Commander alive. I don't think they're going to be able to do that, though. Well, no, they get behind the cliff. It's working out okay. So Old Ghost Stalker's commander does not die, but once again, Lowry's Pyros get completely free reign over Old Ghost Stalker's base, and that's just not going to be fun. So Lowry... How many Pyros does Lowry have right now? Lowry has about six, and Old Ghost Stalker has two. I know, sir. Old Ghost Stalker has one. One of those is Lowry's. My mistake. And once again, another metal extractor goes down. Old Ghost Stalker just does not catch a break. Because the main thing that Lowry is doing in all this is getting territory. I mean, the Northwest is theirs. This metal extractor is theirs. This metal extractor and these metal extractors, they're theirs. Like, Lowry has an extra... What was it? 1.5. An extra six metal worth of extractors they haven't even taken yet. And they're already ahead economically by nearly a factor of two. Like, this is a big deal. And Lotus will be able to take out one of the Pyros, only one of the Pyros, mind you, not the rest. But hey, that's one Pyro down. Old Ghost Stalker's commander is in a bad spot right now, really bad shape. And once again, yeah, moving in, Old Ghost Stalker's commander cannot jump away, and down it goes. Old Ghost Stalker loses their commander, and with that, a third of their economy. And on top of that, more Pyros coming in. Like, Lowry's attacking from all angles, just not letting up at all, not giving Ghost Stalker any breaks. Taking from every angle, taking what they can, trying to keep their powers alive, doing a very good job of that too. An old Ghost Stalker, without that commander, they have just lost a lot of build power. And they can build up caretakers and such to try to push this factory if they want to, or obviously they want to rebuild this as well. And they will definitely want to reclaim the commander, that's that's going to be a huge source of income. I build a caretaker by the factory, then reclaim the commander, then reclaim the rest of this, I don't know, it's going to be tough. I don't think it's going to be possible. At this point, Lowry is taking such a convincing early lead. Especially with the Freaker going down here, taking the southeast. Lowry has actually taken the mexes that I mentioned before they owned already, except this one over here. This is Lowry's game. And that means Lowry is going to be basically getting first place, and Old Ghost Stalker is going to be tied for second. Which, if it matters, I suppose we can play a tiebreaker. Not really sure. Depends on whether or not the players are needing a distinction between second and third place and the tiebreaker score or stuff that goes on doesn't disambiguate this. Yeah, Lowry building up Lotus is inside of Old Ghost Stalker's area. Now, the area that Old Ghost Stalker kind of starts in behind that cliff. 
Lowry's are taking that over. I haven't even started talking about moderators yet. I think those have been built. I'm not sure. No, not quite. Not yet. Lowry is going to be... Well, these lotuses. Just these lotuses. The pyros can't do anything to these lotuses. Like, old... Lowry's just making a very, very small crawling beachhead into old ghost stalker's base. Which is a great idea. It's the best thing to do. And then on top of that, sending in some other pyros around. Not much at this point, but still sending in other pyros around. Yeah, this is kind of... It's kind of game. Although, admittedly, there are these... Like, the thing is, Loudry can't easily push in yet. Not without moderators. With moderators, it would be trivial. Without moderators, with just pyros, it's still a matter of numbers. And at this point... Lowry does have the numbers. There's eight in here or so. Compared to actually about the same number. That's it's about eight on eight. Actually, the first moderator or placeholder or whatever, that would probably end up tilting this somewhat. Admittedly, more so for Lowry than old Ghost Stalker, but old Ghost Stalker is getting the first moderator. After another Pyro and another Freaker. But yes, once that's done, then another moderator is upcoming, and that will actually be a big deal. That'll do a lot. See, though, I mean, these pyros are trying... No, that's going to do it. These pyros are not doing what they needed to do. Running straight into the lotuses. Pyros do not beat lotuses. Lotuses beat pyros outright. Like, one-to-one -one lotuses beat pyros, but lotuses are cheaper than pyros. 90 metal compared to 220. Lotuses beat pyros. Just, they just do. Do not touch lotuses with pyros. You will lose. And at this point, Lowry knows they can just push in for the win. Well, they're fairly confident, at least. They can push him for the win. At this point, they're the only ones with pyros, and they have over a dozen. Like, Lowry's just not sure. Just double-checking, making sure there isn't anything sneaky around the map. But once they find there isn't, it's just going to be death. They're just going to run in here and... What is Sprung drawing, anyway? Yeah, whatever. Yeah, that is... That is pyros. Like I said, about a dozen pyros moving in. Lowry has the reclaim. Lowry has seven times, or six or so times the economy of old Ghost Stalker. Ten times the metal economy value, or army value. The commander's being morphed once again for I don't know what. Actually, given the fact that they stopped reclaiming, I'm guessing they have a Lazarus device in this morph. That's where they're just thinking, oh, I'm accessing. These Freakers are... Why are they not assisting? Okay, that's bizarre. Oh, because there's not enough power. But I think there's actually a bug involving that, but yeah. Freaker is getting more power so that they can just build up continuously, even with the reclaim. And old Ghost Stalker is... Continuing to push out, getting some scuttles. Okay, not a bad idea, not gonna work. Because too many Lotuses. And with the Stinger as well, too many Stinger. Too much defenses. Not a bad idea to get rid of the commander. I mean, Scuttles are great anti-heavy units. I think they might actually be cloaked while moving, come to think of it. If they are cloaked while moving, then it's fine. And yes, they are. Okay, so the Scuttle can do it. And I'm actually going to spot it this time, unlike every other time. Every single other time a Scuttle has come up, I have not spotted it. But that this time I will. Keep my eye on it, although at the same time, Lowry is just tearing down old Ghost Talker's base. Just burning everything to the ground. Old Ghost Talker's only consolation will be to be able to get rid of Lowry's commander with this scuttle. And will that happen? Yes! Yes, it will! The scuttle goes in and gets rid of Lowry's commander. The one consolation for Old Ghost Talker before the game is ended, whether they like it or not. That is game, but they at least got rid of the commander and made a nice hole in the ground. So that... That is that. That is the game. That is, I think, the tournament, because, like I said, it's... That's about it. Lowry wins, and to see what the current scores are. So Lowry is the undisputed champion. Old Ghost Stalker actually has the tiebreak score win as a result of having, well, either having beaten Orphelius or because they have the Buchholz tiebreak, which is a result of having lost. Well, they fought Lowry, Orphelius, and Jasper. I guess Jasper's considered the lowest score, so that's dropped off. So yeah, Orphelius ends up becoming the tiebreaker in both cases. So at this point, Old Ghost Darker is second, Lowry is first, Orphelius is third. And that is the tournament. Unless Orphelius and Old Ghost Darker really want to do a rematch in order to figure out that tiebreak or clone Orphelius, I don't know. Like, want to 
tiebreak test for third? Because that's not clear. Third place is not clear, but I don't think there are kudos tied to this tournament. Not totally sure. I don't think there are. So yeah, that looks like that is going to be it. And yeah, thanks for watching and have a good night, I guess. I don't see anything else happening. <laughs>